Hello, kitties. It's your old pal Steve, the OG Guitar Nut. I'm here with our first ever installment of daily 10-minute pedal demos. That's kind of a kind of a big title. I think I might go with something else. I'd go with Pedal Du Jour, but I think a lot of people would be lost on that one. Um, regardless, I initially intended on doing five-minute pedal demos, but um, I figured out from this very first pedal that uh, it takes a little more than that to really run through the paces of a pedal properly. So let's call them 10 minutes. Fair enough? Hopefully you can find it in your schedule to squeeze this in. I'll try to keep them as short as possible. Um, without going any deeper into that, I'm of course using the Amp of Doom today, which I've determined, uh, well, whoever had it before me broke the ground lug off of the three prong cord, so it's a little noisy. Um, I got to make a trip over to Lowe's today and pick up one of those new plugs where you, you know, they're, they're big and they're bulky, but they allow you to rewire it yourself rather than take it someplace. And uh, I know how to do it. It's just going to, well, it's got to be done. Maybe while I'm there, I'll pick up another uh, $25 shelf slash pedal board to use for uh, our budget board that I intend on building. Um, nothing but Timu pedals. But anyway, Amp of Doom. Today's pedal is the Moval Cosmic Thing, which uh, I've got to look. I should have done my homework before I got started. I think it was $30. I'm going to post the link below. I'll be testing it with my Vintage Revo series. Uh, this is uh, something new for vintage. Rather than just doing a knockoff of an existing guitar, they made their own design, and it's this sweet, obviously my favorite color, Green Burst, a uh, pair of splittable humbuckers, a five-position tone switch, which I tend to leave in one position, and it's even neck through. Uh, yeah, great guitar. I'll be using this for my next gig. So anyway, that's enough of that. Like I said, 10 minutes. So here's the Moval Cosmic Thing. All right, so here is our Moval Cosmic Thing. This is a distortion of sorts. Has a tone, gain, level, and a voice switch. Uh, here's our clean tone. Put everything at noon, a good place to start. gain is a little above noon. Yeah, what's your uh, start with the tone range? Imagine this gets real bassy. <laughs> nice even the low settings sound good that's uh, a rarity in distortion pedals Uh, not too bright. Excellent. I'm loving the clarity. Um, got a little bit of noise, but that's largely down to the fact that uh, I'm using the old custom amp of doom that currently doesn't have a ground lug on the cord. I know it's a safety issue. I shouldn't be doing it, but it's going to get addressed soon. Let's go ahead and take the tone all the way up. This is nice. The entire range of the tone control is very usable. There's no, uh, there's no extreme settings. Even all the way up, it's still nice. All right. Let's 
uh, I think I liked it best just shy of noon. Let's see what the gain range is like. Well, it looks like the gain range uh, is similar to the tone. Um, even the low settings sound really decent. all the way down. I'm loving that. It's eight to nine. A clock that is. It's pretty gaining pretty quick. from noon it just gets a bit The gain control is usable through its entire range. Um, man, and I can't help but notice that even on extended chords, with the gain all the way up, I'm hearing every note. There's this clarity. I'm thinking I like the gain on this one at about noon. And uh, let's see what this voice switch does. It makes it bassier. about both voice uh, settings. I wonder, put in the bass here section, bring the tone up a little bit. Everything about this pedal and I think I'll have to check I'll definitely put a link below but I think I gave $30 for this bad boy uh, Wow it's a serious rarity when I find any distortion that can get good and gainy and still give you total clarity and definition of all your notes uh, it's a big seventh chord <laughs> Telling you, they've really stepped up the game with these uh, inexpensive pedals because this is great. Wow. All right. Well, I can't decide which voice I like better. I think I'd. I like them both. I think it's completely usable. 
Everything on this is usable. The full range of gain, the full range of tone. Obviously level is level. But both voice settings, nothing not to like. So folks, uh, all B-52's album names, uh, jokes notwithstanding, the Cosmic Thing. What a great little pedal from Moval. I give it a thumbs up. So, I hope you enjoyed that demo of the Moval Cosmic Thing. I'm going to put a link below to where you can order one. I uh, will probably put a link to the uh, vintage Revo guitar I was using as well. Um, if you enjoyed this, stay tuned. I'm going to try to do one of these every day. With an exception of, uh, well, December 1st through 8th, I'm going to be on vacation. So, uh, maybe I'll try to get a couple of these in advance so I can post them in advance. Well, that's redundant. Anyway, uh... If you have any questions, comments, anything in particular you'd like to see me review, let me know below. You can get a hold of me at guitarnutsanonymous at gmail.com if you have any reason to get a hold of me. If you want to send me a holiday gift, uh, that would be fun. Uh, whatever the case is. So, uh, and uh, just in, if you would like to see a preview of what is uh, to come in the future, I'm going to put up a photo right here of... Uh, the pedals I currently have that I intend to review uh, first. So, uh, yeah. Anyhow, uh, have a, a great day. Be good to yourself and others. Don't take any wooden nickels, unless you collect wooden nickels, in which case, carry on. Stay cool, stay frosty. Play your damn guitar. Try out a pedal. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.